Uh, it's wonderful to be here, and it's an honor to unveil our brand new Google search experience. Job search within Google. After its uh, successful launch in the US last year, as uh, Rajan mentioned, we are super excited to bring this to India's users. Now, when users enter a job seeking query, they will be able to explore, research, and find job postings from across the web, right on their smartphone or desktop, right within Google. But before I show you how it works, I wanted to highlight three key features that make this a compelling search experience. First, as I mentioned, job search on Google helps you explore and discover jobs from across the web in a convenient format that is built to look great both on mobile and desktop. Secondly, it lets you customize your search results using easily tappable filters that let you quickly hone in on job opportunities that suit you. And finally, it enables you to save jobs and receive notifications when relevant new listings are posted for those searches. So explore, customize, and save. However, this would not have been possible without our wonderful partners. We are deeply thankful to all of them who have worked to help bring these rich and detailed job listings to this new search experience. These include Times Jobs, Head Honchos, Quicker Jobs, Shine.com, and many more. The second big part of today's announcement is to do with an even broader range of jobs that will be available in this new search experience. I'm very happy to announce open documentation in job search. So what is open documentation? It is basically an open platform. Using open documentation, all third-party job search platforms and direct employers, big or small, can make their job openings discoverable within this new search experience. Any company, any company on the web that has job listings on their website can now make them visible in this job search experience on Google through structured schema.org markup. Just by putting the schema.org markup on their websites, these postings will be available to Google to show in this experience. And this is an open standard. So let's now take a look at how all of this comes together. Okay, so it all starts, starts with your familiar search experience, uh, Google search. And, and let's say I am, uh, I just got out of college, I'm looking for a job, and, and I'm on the Delhi Metro, and uh, I have some time, I have a phone, I want to browse around, so I can go to Google search, and I can type in <coughs> jobs for professionals. So right away you see that in addition to the 10 blue links, we, we surface this really cool new jobs module, right? So a couple of things you'll notice right away. One, that we recognize where you're doing this query from. It knows that I did it from New Delhi, and the results you see here are also Delhi specific. But this only shows you three results, and I want to actually explore a lot, you know. It's going to take me an hour to get through this string, right? So I'm going to click on this expando, and this takes me into this beautiful, immersive experience. This experience has hundreds of jobs, and these jobs come from all kinds of partners. They come from Quicker, they are from LinkedIn, Asan Jobs, and many more. And it also has a lot of helpful information like when the job is posted, whether it's a part-time job or a full-time job, which can help you find more detailed information. Um, all right. Well, one of the things I notice is that there are hundreds of jobs, and there's no way I'm going to go over all of them. So is there a way I can filter these jobs down to the ones that matter to me? Guess what? Right below these, these search listings is, are these chips. These chips, which are easily tappable, let you filter the results by category, by title, by location, industry, employer, 
And these are dynamically generated chips based on your search query. So let's say in this case, I will select computer ID, jobs, within 25 kilometers of Delhi, because I don't want to commute for more than 25 hours in Delhi traffic. Actually, it's, it's not changing. Oh, that's oh. oh, good. Great. Um, and let's say full-time jobs. All right. So now I have narrowed down the results to the ones that I care about in three simple taps, right? And that's the power of this experience. It's really lightweight, it's easy and quick, it's designed to be used on a metro. And then we can look at some of these jobs and see if any of these pique my interest. So here's one. This job is available on Times Jobs, and when I click on the job, it takes me to this detailed view where I can look through the full description, but also find information like salary range and ability to actually apply on Times Jobs. So I can click on this, and it'll take me into the actual partner website where I can look through more information and quickly apply for it. But as you probably remember, I'm on a metro on a phone, I don't have my resume, I'm not going to apply for this job right away. So, is there a way I can bookmark this job and save it to, for later uh, so that I can go home on my desktop and apply for it? So up top here, you will see that there is a tab which I can click on and that bookmarks this job so that I can get back to it anytime. Let's, let's take a look at it again. Let's see, how about this one? This job, again, you can save it here. You can save these job listings over here. Um, let's go to another. This job is available on Quicker, so I can go on Quicker and apply for this job. So as you can see, very easily, I'm able to save a lot of jobs. And then in the Save tab, I can see uh, several listings, which I can get back to later. What's interesting is that you know how jobs expire really soon. And any time a job expires, over here, uh, we actually notify you and tell you that this job is actually expired. And you can unsave jobs. And jobs as well. So okay, I, I showed you how we can explore jobs. I showed you how you can filter jobs and save them. But one, one of the things that uh, job search users often have to do is to stay on top of this job search activity, right? Every day, having to go through this whole experience again, looking for new jobs, looking for a delta between today and yesterday, that just seems like a lot of work. So, in addition to all the other features, we also provide you an easy way to turn on and toggle the switch on top. And as soon as you toggle it, we are going to start sending notifications. Now, these notifications are actually based on the current search that you have done, not just the search query, but all the tasks that you've done here and the location that you've done this query from. And as the new job listing shows up, which matches the search criteria, it will send you an email with all these new job postings. You can even go into the Alerts tab and customize your alerts, like, hey, I want instantly, as soon as a job is available, I really want a job today, or hey, I'm casually browsing this, these jobs and I can, you know, I, I want a weekly update. Okay, so I have, uh, I did give you a quick demo of, of this, and there are many more features in there, um, but the key point is that this is, a, this, the whole point is to make it, this a very easy experience, a very quick experience for the users. And we're happy to announce that job search feature is already live, uh, so you can go ahead and take it for a spin on your smartphone or desktop, and we're just getting started. Um, and we have a lot to learn. So we hope that you let us know what works, what doesn't, and we'll be working hard behind the scenes to make this new experience even better over time.